Welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we invite you to join us for an amazing bucket list experience, dining at the Lasillier Steakhouse at Epcot's Canada Pavilion. This was our first experience dining at this restaurant. It's known for its delicious steaks, fresh seafood, cheddar cheese soup, and other Canadian dishes. This restaurant is open for lunch and dinner and located at the bottom of the beautiful Canadian Chateau, designed to look like a wine cellar with beautiful stone arches, wooden accents, and dim lighting. This is one of the signature dining locations at Disney World, and the restaurant is also very small, so dining reservations are hard to come by. We're sharing our complete dining experience today and welcome you to join us. Mm -hmm. This is a bucket list item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this we just kept checking the app, and a reservation for Leslie just happened to pop up this day, and so we snagged it. <laughs> this is one of those dining reservations that you just can't get unless you're booking it like immediately, as soon as the time comes available, and even then, sometimes you don't get it. selection of appetizers, steamed mussels, the famous Canadian cheddar cheese soup, winter squash bisque, a wedge salad, scrimp shrimp cocktail, cheese plate, got some signature poutine here, as well as the beef bourguignon poutine. These are kind of side offerings, spinach, Brussels sprouts, macaroni and cheese, lobster mac and cheese, and then they're, what they're known for is their steaks. They got a ribeye, New York strip, filet mignon. They've got some impossible dumplings and some fish paella. And then a few different wines. They have an ice wine flight too, which is kind of fun. Definitely known for their ice wines in cold country. <laughs> what kind of offerings do they have as far as their wine list? Good variety. We've got some champagne and sparkling whites. Oh, a variety of whites. Reds, got a Pinot Noir there. It's one of my favorites. And some velvety reds and gold reds. And then specialty cocktails. Ooh, an Ottawa apple, maple whiskey. And an old fashioned, that sounds right up your alley. <laughs> Got our bread service. You look down here at the basket. We've got a warm pretzel bread. Got a sourdough, and we got an oat roll. I'm gonna try some of this sourdough or this the pretzel braid. And we've got a salted butter. Mm. It came out really warm, mm -hmm. fresh out of the oven. 
Yeah, it's nice and crisp on the outside, and soft on the inside. Great pretzel flavor. So with the salted butter and the salt on the outside is really nice. That's a good pretzel bread. Mm -mm -mm. And our daughter's favorite is sourdough. Mm -hmm. I think she would like this one. I usually like an oat roll whenever places have them. Break that open. Oh, it's very soft. Look at that. It's like a whole grain, multi grain oat roll. That'll be good with the creamy butter. Mm. Yeah, I, I like a multi grain roll. You get those, those seeds coming through in the flavors, and it's a little bit sweeter with the oats. That's nice. And we also have the sourdough. Let's get the break on that. Oh, yep. Nice and firm. Mm, the nice tartness of the sourdough. My mother. Oh, I can smell it from here. Yeah, my mother actually makes makes her own makes her own sourdough. She has her own starter, and she's been doing it for years now. And that is one of our kids' favorite things: is sourdough bread, and it's one of my favorites too. So we always like to try sourdough bread when we go places. Has a little bit of nice sourness to it. Not, not very strong. Not very strong sourdough it's, itself. Um, it's light, but it's a, it's in a roll. So I, I, I that's pretty good. I know we've had we've had sourdough from where was it? Probably. San Francisco, San Francisco from the Boudin Bakery, Bakery in San Francisco, which they also no. have in California Adventure mm -hmm. Disneyland. Mm -hmm. And that sourdough is excellent. It's pretty good, pretty good roll. Yeah. I think my favorite out of the three is the pretzel, the pretzel braid. Kind of depends what you like. Um, yeah. If you like, if you like that kind of punch in the face kind of sour, <laughs> sour flavor, which I do, I like my sourdough mm -hmm. to re really have that flavor. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, really good. Nice, nice little bread service. I bet this would be really good with the cheddar soup. <laughs> but then you would never remember anything else. <laughs> So we have uh, got our food. Order came out. We have the artisan cheese plate. This is a, a nice selection of Canadian and French and house-made cheeses and their accompaniments. We've got a honeycomb. It's like a blue cheese. We've got some crisp crackers. It's like some water crackers. Some dried fruit. We have some kind of a, a fruit a spread. And I have a nice fruit um, glaze over this one. Looks like some kind of a jam. And then we've got some, looks like a combination of pumpkin and other kind of nuts and seeds on this one. That looks really, really tasty. Can't wait to dig in and try it. And I got the Napa Cabernets, the Frank Family Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley. And I didn't realize this, but our, <laughs> our waitress told us that this is owned by the Disney family, but not the Disney Corporation. Which is interesting. This kind of reminds me of something that we would do at home. We like to do these little charcuterie know, we boards. Love, we love to do charcuterie at home. I always like to try the different cheese plates and charcuterie when we go to places. As long as I'm kind of eating lighter, you know, you've got the kind of the signature entree, and I kind of wanted. To, I was. We were, we've been doing the holiday booths around the showcase. And so I wasn't I wasn't super hungry, but I wanted to have something to enjoy. And this sounded really good. I'm gonna try, we've got a, a assortment of cheeses here, so I'm trying to kind of build a perfect bite. I've got one of the hard cheeses, and it's got like a, a fruit, fruit glaze on here. And then I'm gonna try a little bit of this honeycomb as well. Let's see what this is like. Mm. That's nice, it's really nice. Full flavored cheeses, great variety of different choices to kind of pair them with, and nice crisp uh, water crackers. Yeah, very enjoyable. Good, good cheese plate. Combined with a glass of wine, <laughs> you can't go wrong. <laughs> I got 
got the filet mignon. This is what they're really known for. It's described as a AAA Canadian tenderloin. Comes with a mushroom risotto, asparagus, tomato relish, with a truffle butter sauce. And it looks amazing. All right, let's take a bite. Let's cut into this. Cut in here. I got it medium rare. Okay, Thank you. Yeah, that looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfectly cooked. Mm -hmm. See how it tastes. Oh, yeah. Perfectly seasoned. Got that kind of peppery on the outside. Very tender. Juicy on the inside. Mm. That is a perfectly cooked steak. Full of flavor. On a bed of mushroom risotto uh, with a, a tomato relish on top. Uh, yeah. What do you think of the risotto? Mm -hmm. what is wow. that? that is absolutely delicious. Really, really creamy. I know you're not a big mushroom fan, but well, I don't. You know, I don't get a lot of. You know, I don't get. It's not like mushroom. Chunk, chunks of mushroom. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind mushroom in a sauce, or mm -hmm. I just don't like. You know, like a. But, you know, yeah. Bite of mushrooms. <laughs> mm. Not like I do. I love them. Yeah. But that is just phenomenal. No, that's mm -hmm. this is the best steak I've had on Disney property. That's amazing. That's what they're known for here. Mm -hmm. It's good to see that it, try that it comes that. through. Yeah, you try to get a get a perfect bite. Yeah, and then I follow it with a little bit of wine. perfectly. I just, that really brings out that kind of that pepper flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. accepts like the wine. It's just perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a good Cabernet will hold up well to a filet. Yeah, I really have to have, anymore. I just have to have a glass of wine with my steak. <laughs> really like like enha it enhances it, the experience for sure. Yeah. This is phenomenal. Mm. Wonderful. We have a winner. <laughs> Take a bite of this. That's such high, such high praise from you. I'm looking forward to this bite. <laughs> Trying to get a perfect bite here with the steak and then the risotto. Mm. That is a good bite. Wow. That risotto. Mm. The risotto is perfectly cooked. Yeah, the filet is buttery, rich, soft, mm. and juicy. Perfect. It's it's perfectly prepared. I like that it's seared on the outside. It cuts so nicely, and and then paired with the mushroom cream sauce, and you get some of that tomato relish on there too to see if that cuts if that citrus cuts through a little bit. cuts through um, kind of that you know the, the all of the, the savory notes coming from the risotto and the mushrooms mm, I love it that is that is a, an amazing amazing dish definitely recommend if you ever have a chance to get a dining reservation here at La Salle you've got to try the filet <laughs> at least once in your lifetime <laughs> It's as, good as, is, as good as any steak I've had at the yeah. high, high-end steakhouses. Yeah. yeah. This is a, you know, definitely a signature restaurant here on Disney property, here in Epcot. It is one of the most highly sought-after locations to get a reservation. And you can see why. It, this is this is fantastic. You gotta try it with the wine. Yep. Oh. Mm. Yeah, Cabernet, you know, nice and bold. Holds up well, um, holds up well to a steak, and the mushroom risotto really cuts through and complements the steak. That's that's fantastic. <laughs> Good choice, honey. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's really really good.
watch our amazing things that are at La Cilie. Now we're going to go watch the Canada Flying Light Show. This is a nice little side, little secret passageway behind, behind here. This is wonderful. Thanks for joining us at Le Cilier. Let us know in the comments if you've ever dined at this location or if it's one of your bucket list dining experiences like it was for us. Don't forget to leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. We'll see you next time.